Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to fixing the annoying error that says your PC needs to be repaired. A required device isn't connected or can't be accessed. It might look a little scary at first, but don't panic. This is a fixable problem and I'll guide you through it step by step. The first thing you should try is the simple stuff. If you've got any external devices connected, like a keyboard, mouse, USB drive or SSD, just unplug them and restart your PC. Also, make sure in your BIOS settings that your first boot device is set to your main hard drive or SSD. Sometimes, just doing that is enough to solve the problem. If that doesn't work, no problem. We'll move on to the advanced fix. When you see the error screen, hold down the power button and turn your PC off. Then turn your PC back on and the moment you see Windows logo appear during computer boot up, power it off again. Repeat this process three or four times and eventually you'll see a screen that says diagnosing your PC. From there, Windows will take you to the advanced options menu. On that screen, you'll want to select troubleshoot, then advanced options. Now, if powering off and on a few times doesn't bring you to this menu, don't worry. You'll just need a Windows 10 or 11 bootable USB. Boot from that USB and instead of clicking install now, choose the option that says repair my PC. That will take you to the exact same troubleshooting screen. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and click on Command Prompt. Inside the Command Prompt, we're going to rebuild your PC boot files. First, type bootrec forward slash fix MBR and press enter. Next, type bootrec forward slash fix boot and press enter again. If you see an access denied error here, no worries. Just type bootsect forward slash NT60 SYS and press enter. After that, run the bootrec command again, and this time it should work. Now, for the third command, type bootrec forward slash rebuild BCD and press enter. Once it says the operation completed successfully, close the command prompt, restart your system, and check if the error is gone. If the issue is still there, you can try another method. Go back into advanced options, then open command prompt again. This time, type disk part and press enter. Next, type list disk and press enter. You'll see your disks listed. Mine is disk zero, so I'll type select disk zero and press enter. Once the disk is selected, type online disk and press enter. If it says the disk is already online, that's fine. Now just type exit to close disk part, then exit the command prompt, restart your PC and check again. If the error still shows up, the last option we have is a clean installation of Windows. For this, you'll need a bootable Windows USB installation drive. Plug it in and set it as the first boot device. Restart your PC and when prompted, press any key to boot from the USB. Select your language and time, then click Next. Then select Keyboard Setting and then click Next. Then select the first option, install Windows 11 and select I agree everything will be deleted option and then click Next. Choose I don't have a product key. Then pick the version of Windows you want. Accept the terms and conditions and choose the drive where you want Windows installed. Then click Next and the installation will begin. Keep in mind, this will erase everything from your C drive, so make sure you back up your important files before doing this. Data on your other drives will stay safe. Once Windows finishes installing, your system should be back up and running and the error fixed. That's it. This is how you can fix the your PC needs to be repaired error. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.